Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing really well. In today's lesson, I want to talk to you about something that's been <laughs> absolutely blowing my mind, and that is AI generated images from text. And this is something that is um, probably the most exciting thing that I've seen in the last 15 to 20 years in the world of uh, image creation and it's absolutely fantastic so without further ado i just want to show you a few of the images that i was able to create and then after that i'm going to show you how you can create yours um, in a few simple steps okay here we go so over here we have the first image that i created and the text that I used to create this image was the following. A beautiful painting of Venice, Italy in the 17th century with a mix of old and sci-fi futuristic buildings, flying gondolas, warm and cool color scheme. This is the image that came out. How amazing is that? Moving forward, here we have another image where the text that I used to create this image was the following. Painting, dark ambience, Blade Runner 2049, dark color scheme. And the images to follow also. This image, the text that was used was the following. A beautiful dusk photo of Venice, Italy with neon lights in Blade Runner with a mix of old and sci-fi futuristic buildings, flying gondolas. All right, so now that everybody is really inspired, let's start and let's find out how everybody can create their own works of art through AI. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to Google. And the great thing about this uh, AI is that you don't need to install anything. The only thing that you need is Google Drive. So if you have Google Drive or if you have Gmail, you have Google Drive. So that's the only thing you need for the moment so we're going to go to google and we are going to type disco diffusion okay and that's going to bring us to this top one over here disco diffusion version 5.2 we're just going to click on that okay so once you are inside of disco diffusion the first thing you're going to want to do is to connect your google drive because that's where all the images that you create are going to be saved. So you're going to come up to the right hand side and you're going to click connect over here. And we are just going to click OK. And connect, connect to CPU backend. So connect with GPU. That's fine. And now it's going to be connecting and now it's connected. Okay, so for those of you that just want to know how to create an image fast <laughs> and don't want to know anything about any settings, just go straight down to a little bit further, past settings, diffuse, and let's find where it is now. It is in prompts over here. So essentially the first thing you want to do if you want to just create an image quickly is just input your text under prompts over here. So at the moment, a beautiful painting of a singular lighthouse, all of that stuff, you can just select that, 
delete it and put in whatever your text is. So let's try, for example, Blade Runner 2049 uh, War. Okay, and let's say Dark Color Scheme. So if that's all that you want to know, that's how you're going to create an image. Then what you do is you come up to runtime and you're going to click run all. Then you're going to get this uh, pop-up, just click run anyway. Permit uh, notebook access Google Drive, yes, connect to Google Drive. Over here you're going to connect your Google Drive again once more blah 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 and click allow that's just so that it can save the files in a folder there and now it's going to go through all of these uh, settings animation settings all of these things check them and start to calculate the image at the bottom and we are just going to wait for it to start with the creation process and i'll explain to you what is happening once once it's ready so the first image you're going to see pop up is this noisy image and at first it doesn't look like anything spectacular but um, after each uh, layer is added this image will start to be refined into a fully finished image. If we go up to the top I'll just explain a few settings whilst we wait for the uh, update of this one. <coughs> Our display rate over here is essentially, it will show you the steps. So it will add 10 layers of refinement on, on top of the image and then it will show you an update. Then it will add another 10 and it will show you the next update. So it's essentially every 10 uh, layers of refinement, you will see an update. In terms of batches over here, you can add say 100 and the process will be repeated 100 times and you'll get 100 different variations of of the image that we specified in the prompts so for example blade runner 2049 war we would get 100 different options for that prompt which is pretty awesome next we'll go up over here and we'll see so over here you can name basically your uh, your project and then the steps is how many layers of refinement you use so if you do go to like 10 or something like that it's going to look very uh, blocky and unrefined uh, whereas 250 is going to add more detail into the image over here you can just adjust the size of your image and these uh, options you don't really need for the beginning but this is just uh, to reduce noise inside of of the image if you need to uh, this uh, this is to control the saturation of the image but those uh, things are more for advanced users and we'll go over those in the next tutorial where we look at all of these but for the moment these are the basic settings that you just need to know go to the top <clears throat> this is just the model settings you don't need to change that and that's all you need to really know you just need to know runtime over here is where you start your, your calculation and you can also pause and restart by clicking on these buttons over here and once the image is finished it will be saved into your google drive so we're going to go down and we're going to check the update of our image see if anything has changed and we're still waiting on our image so we're just going to leave it like this i'll fast forward the video and i will show you the steps uh, that follow
So there you have it guys, the power of AI and image creation via text. And I have little doubt that this is only the tip of the iceberg. So feel free to explore the software and see what kind of amazing images you can create for yourself. That's all for today guys. If you enjoyed that, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next lesson. Cheers, bye.